fucking doing, dude. We're just figuring it out as we go, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I wouldn't mess with all of this, but I figured the rack should be not 40 mil forward, but so now we're gonna get 30 mil forward, I believe, with this rack position thing. I think that should be good for this setup, good enough. Everything is kind of unknown with putting this steering setup on this car with whatever's going on in the rear. Shout out Matt for letting me totally take it over and mess with it and make it drive how I want to. Nothing against this stuff. This is a fine piece of equipment here from Power Shop Max, but yeah. Okay, so the rack is now moved. Had to lower it down a little bit by pulling those shims out. And had to make some clearance for the steering shaft on the header. And now, repositioning the top hats. And don't need them to be like that. I'm gonna weld up this crack too, but uh, yeah, getting them back to kind of a normal position. Quick little box. LCA, just chop the bump stop off, stock S14. Okay, so knuckle on, but Matt's got fancy race car stuff and for some reason these threads are different. So, kind of messes up my plans with the wheel spacers, but I got a backup plan. Just have to steal from this sad little donor car. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the hub. Might as well just take the knuckles too. Okay, so knuckles on. Got the spacers stacked up. Just need to tweak the settings a little bit. It's rubbing on the skirt on the other side some, but um, right now, obviously the seating position wasn't gonna work for me. So Matt said, go ahead and chop this out. <laughs> So I think it's pretty much all set. Uh, had to just went in and added a little plate for a bump stop. At full lock, it would um, like bottoming out the rack. It wasn't even hitting the arm. I think that's because the rack is still moved pretty far forward. Yeah, so I just added that little stop, and the angle is still ridiculous. Probably seems crazy that I pulled off all this fancy stuff to put on a cut knuckle, but this is um, this is what I like to drive with. It's what I'm used to, and I just think it would be cool to see what a crazy car like this will feel like with all of this. There was a part of me that wanted to just try it with the Max stuff on it, but based on my experience so far, I think I would rather just drive it with the stuff I'm used to. This is going to be interesting. Also had to swap the wheel for something a little smaller through the thrash in there and my seat, his seat. It didn't lean back far enough, so I was still really upright. My knees aren't eating the wheel. Can you get water throw gear in here just so you don't? Um, I can't think of anything else I needed to bring but a helmet. <laughs> right here. And we have some other, I think another pair too. Just, just do some slip-ons. I don't have like the proper adapter yeah, thing. It needs like, like fucking 40. I, exactly. Like you will notice the difference with proper equipment <laughs> like that. It'll be very different. It's crazy. But you could add and take away 10 mil of slip-on spacer and change the amount of But when it's on, when it's on. Sure that helps. Here we go. Come on in there, dude.
got these skills. You can't do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I don't think they will anyway. I don't do that in my cars. All right. It's going down, Julian. Uh, Red Grange. About to drive this crazy ass car. What am I doing here? Give me a quick rundown on this car. It's got a V8. Big heavy V8 with a big, big old fucking supercharger. Makes over a thousand horsepower. And then I put B knuckle on it, <laughs> which I think it belongs. But yeah, you know, what the fuck do I know? But um, yeah, I've never driven anything this crazy. So we'll see how it goes.
Yeah. I mean, duh, it's got a fucking inch and, what was it, like an inch and an eighth to it? <laughs> so I would be surprised if it didn't feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> so how was it? Fucking wild. What happened when you blew off track? <laughs> I had just been taking it really easy and I just kind of did one entry where I got on it a bit more and it picks up speed so like <laughs> when you have traction and you get on it it just it just surges forward so fast that I it just made too much speed and the track is super hot and I don't know it's a little it's not perfectly balanced like I don't know if it has to do with the way the rear is set up and with this crazy toe out in the front it kind of feels like I don't know, it doesn't have the like side grip that it probably would if it, the rear was set up more like neutral S chassis kind of stuff, but when you get on the power, it's just it's fucking crazy. Sorry, Matt. Oops. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really imagine going full blast down the straightaway. <laughs> I don't know if you possibly can with this much power. Jesus Christ. You definitely have to... can. You just have to enter earlier and you sit on the handbrake longer. I'm just not used to Could doing be just that. like super high IT. Maybe. But it's so fucking hot right now. Oh, wait, the ignition's not going on. Nice, dude. <laughs> what do you think? It's wild. It is. Now it really needs some origin. <laughs> <laughs> The first one where I just got on it a yeah. bit before the entry, yeah. it just sent me so far off. It's I was so like, fast. It picks up speed in a second. Yeah. Yeah, in a second. <laughs> so I it was, was running when you came in though, right? Yeah. Maybe let's just check some battery connections. Maybe some connections have gone loose, rattled loose or something. Yeah. This thing cranks kind of slow. Mm -hmm. You can get more warmed up drop-off section right here mm -hmm. you know it's like the big sweeper around the back yeah that might be good because there's a straight run up which is short and then we can treat it like a full outer and then I don't know do you think that actually what we should do you know how normally you stretch it I always stretch it too yeah. like you stretch it and then big flick yeah. we should do a little manji there okay. just because the more transitions because that's what I really want to work right. on too is transition timing doing that little manji shit it's really hard to be like pocket clear pocket yeah and so then let's do that what do you want to do just let off there and save uh, the tires well, perfect. how low the battery is cool is there some changes that you want us to make we can also take off the rear sway bar which would help it you know no, cool. we'll do this and see how it feels right. yeah but these tires also have less side grip a lot of forward and the car's set up to have forward yeah yeah Did you get them crashing it? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got it.
drive their car at the very front of the main home to it. We probably should check in now that it just fired up and did that. Same time, it's still down back there. Ah, I was like, ah, I guess it's just gone now. No, to so lower the boost. Down. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Getting one run and <laughs> doesn't like fire you said? Yeah, I think it's okay. There we go. Yeah, that's alright. Dude, I think maybe the popping is high into air temps. Yeah, okay. We're so fucking no no chance for the fucking intercooler to cool down. Thank <laughs> you. 
before I gain proximity back. Because well, I'm yeah, so cause close. From that really tight corner. I try to take it a little wider. If, no, I think that you're doing good, and that car also digs out of the corner, which this one does too. Yeah. But it's a very good learning experience because I think I'm too tight here. So by the time I like back off, then you snap, then there's this gap. And I, I don't want to have this gap, and then I'm driving into you. I want to try to be able to get yeah, in there through that corner. The first, yeah, right, because I think so you when you're transitioning, I'm backing out. Yeah. And then you're transitioning, fuck, you're gone. Mm. making me work for it. That car is fast, but it's only fast in the hands of a fast driver. How he loads the car coming out of a corner is pro level driving shit. It doesn't make my transitions easy. Like I am trying my absolute hardest to keep up with this thing. I'm like, this car should be just as fast as that, you know? It's a, he's a fast driver, that's why. I'm now just giving you, I'm starting, after we enter, staying close, but I'm sliding back, sliding back, sliding back. And now I'm able to be on throttle through the transition. I, I see you earlier. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was sick. Thanks, man. <laughs> Don't care. Yeah. That's a cool experience getting to drive something like that. I mean, yeah, I want to try some fucking insane backies, but I already threw a deep in the tires. Save that for another day. Yeah, yeah. Sick entries, oh, yeah, your entries are already looking sick, and it's not even half of what you can do in that thing. Let's get the, you know, one inch of toe yeah. out squared away, then you can start cooking all the way down. I mean, it, like, it started to feel, I got way more confident in it towards the end on the transition. It's like, at first, I was just felt a little crazy, but it's always like that. When you drive a oh, fucking knuckle anyway. car the first few laps, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Steering's quick, yeah. it's fucking darty all over the place. You really have to lean on the front. Yeah. Dude, I'm 
very surprised that you're this course that we were doing, the first transition, how quickly you're snapping the car, getting your upshift done, and it lands to the amount of angle that you just like carry through the outer sweeper. Cause it's not like, cause sometimes when you get that upshift, you like flash the tires, you don't get the shift done right away, car dumps to too much angle. Like I don't think ever once I saw Julian like waver. No, no like major steering correction that no. you could see yep. like when you're yep. already at angle. I'm wobbling way more behind you, and you're first time driving this car. I don't ever touch left foot brake, by the way. That's Especially crazy. not in a lead run. Yeah, like, that's crazy. I don't even really, that's not a technique that I have in my, in my real boat. I would need You'll get, it probably. You're going to need chasing. it, yes, and I think that you might need it if we're running like a wall outer mm -hmm. zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, you know how Long Beach is. I don't think you drove Long Beach, right? But you know how it is. You know how like you start stepping out to the wall and you want to just like rotate the car and like creep out?